everybody welcome back so today i've got an awesome treat for you guys so we accomplish a goal that i set myself to with 150 days can i make it into the top five of the rivals board and lo and behold we did it stay tuned check it out it's pretty cool we got a few places opening up and we got some awesome stuff going on so go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already thumbs up if you end up liking the video and i will see you moving forward let's go so ladies and gents we are back it is day 120 so i've done a couple things in the uh interim between the last video and right now i opened up two new locations for our liquor empire now the first one if i can find it here there's so many of them let's see here i opened up liquor madness 11 where are you i can never find these places there we go there's number 12. i know i opened up liquor madness 11 as well which i think was over here actually now i think about it somewhere over here anyway i opened up two of those locations that was the 225s and then i also opened up over here in midtown i'm all discombobulated there we go now we're in midtown i opened up b liquor madness three i also snagged that location b liquor madness four now and i have one more location here in lower manhattan that needs to be opened as well b liquor madness two now for b liquor madness three the one that i just recently opened here I had to do everything manually. I didn't want to keep waiting for the money for the blueprint. That was like what? 670,000 or 860,000. I can't remember what it was, but it was a lot of money. And I, at the time I was only making 50,000 per day. There was no way it was day 116. There was just no way it was going to happen. So I ended up just doing everything manually. Again, I looked at the last video and made sure everything looked exactly the same. So it looks exactly the same in here as it does and be liquor madness one but in this case it just made more sense to me to get it done versus paying all that extra money because in reality aside from the cost of goods really it's just an arbitrary number that they throw on there kind of it's like a money sink i mean looking at the cost to actually set it all up again as i was doing it it maybe cost one hundred and twenty thousand at the absolute most there was no more than that i mean it was 70 i think it was like seventy thousand for the appliances and another like eight or nine thousand for the uh actual like interior paintings lights etc and then obviously the goods to purchase from the purchasing agent add that you know add that in together it's probably up to one hundred twenty thousand. i don't know but it doesn't matter it's not six hundred seventy thousand, whatever the, the number is for the blueprint so as it stands that's what i i've done in that regard i'm currently just gonna park this vehicle here I also am working on getting 170,000 per day, like not per day, but getting 170,000 for the next liquor store or liquor madness store, I should say. Not a B, not an M, just a normal liquor madness. And then I might work on another B, probably liquor madness two because it's in lower Manhattan. But yeah, that's what I'm working on right now. And we will meet back up once I get a couple more locations open. All right, guys, we are back. It is day 125. So as you can see up here, we made $161,000 yesterday in overall profit. What we have done in the interim is we opened up B Liquor Madness 2 just yesterday. Now notice that it only says 5,412 for average daily income. It's not going to have a good average until the full seven days are done. I also opened up just today Liquor Madness 6 and Liquor Madness 8. They have their schedules and everything good to go. We have uh, both locations ready to bring us money in. Now on the rivals list, we are at number 7. At $839,000 per week. I genuinely believe we can realistically reach. Now looking at Jessica now. We can realistically reach top five of the rivals list before day 150. I can't believe that. 
but I'm going to have to because it's right in front of me. Well, now the IRS is right in front of me. This is the other thing I had to point out. A couple days ago, we got our tax bill. We got to pay it by day 140. We have 15 days to do so. So, I mean, we're, we're looking on the up and up. In fact, let's just, for the sake of it, let's do just a full day. See what happens here. Can we actually reach top five right now? I think we can. I think we definitely can. I, yeah, yeah, we're definitely going to get it. Once this starts getting through. Because, I mean, it's it shows B-Liquor Madness 2 down here when B-Liquor Madness 1, which is in a equally demographic area, these, sh these should be the same. So we're looking at roughly another 100,000. We're going to get to number five. We're definitely going to get it. I, I believe we will. So let's uh let's move the day until uh tomorrow here together. Let's see what this person has to say before anything here. Oh, what's wrong, Melanie? Part time, where are we here? Oh yeah, I forgot I hired you on accident. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> oh, oh. Haley, someone thinks they can compete with my prices? Da hast du dich aber wirklich geschnitten, mein Schatz. I will slash my prices and knock your profit margins down. So customers are going to flock to me. Also mach dich bereit, because things are about to get real tough, mein Liebes. Okay. Oh. I had my mole visit your silly little business. Sweet prices. Must be turning a nice profit, right? Imagine where your customers will go when they hear about my prices. <laughs> Bye, sugar. Are we going to get another one? No. Okay. <laughs> wow, they are salty, aren't they? So we're... Ooh. <laughs> oh, look at that, guys. Look at that. So she is messing with our prices on cigars, soda, and bottles of wine. Ingrid is hitting us cigars, beers, and bottles of wine. Okay. So what does that actually mean? If we look at Be Liquor Madness 2, this is not in that. Okay. So we need to find a location that's in, for instance, this guy right here. Okay. Liquor Madness 3. So cigars, 1180. I'm already at the minimum. Bottle of wine. Okay. Okay, that was easy. That's not that big a deal. I'm not too worried about that at the moment. Yeah, that's you're not scary. <laughs> okay, so cigars, beers and bottle of wine. All right, we have a lot more businesses here than anywhere else. So let's see what we got here. Okay. I mean, I guess this is assuming that they've already adjusted their pricing. They very well could have uh, not done it yet. We'll just, we'll see what happens there. Okay, first things first, we need to head to the IRS and pay off our tax bill. So I will see you guys there in just a moment. Okay, we've arrived at the IRS. Let's pay our bill here real quick. Boom. We still got 173,000 to go. Perfect. So with that amount, why don't we look at do we have any? We have two, three, four. We could easily do two of these locations right now, or we could do one of the liquor madnesses. Hmm. I'm thinking we do liquor madness four. I think that's the better option, personally speaking. So let's talk to Christian Behood once again. 
look for Liquor Madness 4. There we are. Let's see, tomorrow. Boom. Yes. Okay, so we have that location coming up for us. I mean, really, it's it's just a, a matter of moments before we reach that top five. And man, oh man, does that feel good. I knew, part of me knew, <laughs> part of me knew that we would get this done before 150 days. Some of you doubted, even myself. I doubted myself, you know, sometimes in the past, I guess. I, I, I really didn't feel like it was going to happen. It felt like we were struggling. But the second we opened those bigger locations, I had a feeling. I had a feeling it would work out, and it strangely has. So, I mean, I'm, I... <laughs> I don't know what else to say other than wow. And I'm taking that building. But yeah, I, I mean, we, we accomplished the goal, essentially. I mean, well, I guess we'll see what happens here with the price being re prices being reduced at a lot of our stores. But I'm going to keep them as is right now. They're not terribly overbearing. So maybe we'll do just fine and we'll still get that fifth spot. I mean, I, I guess it's just a matter of uh, moving the day forward here. So why don't we get that done real quick? And... Uh, see what happens here all right guys so I have opened up or not open but I've got liquor madness for all set to go in terms of its interior I have the logistics coming in here at two o'clock I'm just getting the employees finished here so very a very standard oh, I forgot to assign the business here but a very standard thing at this point I mean, I've almost practically memorized the entire layout of the the large, the bee liquor madnesses, merely because I've done it so many times now. I mean, three times, but three times doing the same thing when it's that much of a thing really does kind of hammer it down into your mind. But as you guys know, my brain is really bad sometimes at remembering things, so... Who knows if I'll truly remember it. <laughs> For now, I do. How about that? But yeah, this is pretty straightforward and easy. Then we turn this off, hit Saturday. And finally, Sunday. And we should be good once the inventory comes in. Let's check all the prices here, make sure we get these correct. Okay, so now we'll just push forward just slightly here, make sure. There's the shipment. Everything should be good. Boom, awesome. Oops, didn't mean to do that, I gotta open it up now. Oh, I don't recall opening that up, I guess I hit it. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> All right, so where does that put us on the rival scale? Well, let's actually do this real quick. Let's just, just for the sake of just letting things flow through. Didn't mean to boot that. But letting things flow through. Where are we going to sit? I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. We are still here. We're still here. Ladies and gentlemen, we have completed one major task I've given myself, and that is to reach top five in the rivals board before day 150 with only liquor stores. Granted, there is one singular caveat. And that is merely the fact that we have Delode's flowers. And that is simply because we chose liquor stores after this place was made. And this was our very first location of anything. So 
Delos Flowers is a mulligan, I guess, in this case. But it does not matter. Even without Delos Flowers, we would still be over Jessica Johnson. So, regardless of that, we're still number five. I am so glad <laughs> that I was able to pull this off. So, I, I think that is probably one of the... I mean, you guys let me know. Is this one of the more difficult challenges in terms of having a single business type? Especially a single business that has less lesser sales during the week versus the weekends. I mean, that that was... It was difficult. But I, I think it has been very fulfilling. I mean, look how many businesses we still have yet to open. I... I and, you know, this is not even including the full threshold of what all these places can earn. So... I, let's let's I'm at a loss right now. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I'm just so excited. I'm so excited that this worked out. So I think the next step now essentially is getting the rest of these places open, which in this case, you know, we have our, our nightclubs to do as well. But uh, we got all these liquor stores. That we still need to open up and you know being these being 71,000 essentially each so 70 142 so 71 142 213 284 I think we have enough to do all four yeah let's see what time does Christian Bahut open 8 a.m. all right let's let's play some video games for a little bit here okay now they're open so we should be able to do this now. Uh, I want to make sure actually which ones are the ones that are actually closed. So two, three, four, and five. Okay, perfect. So we'll just go through these guys really quick. We'll all set it for tomorrow. Oh, okay. Oh, it's a different type. Oh, that's a bummer. Okay. Let's see. Oh, no. Okay. Well, we can do two of them. I guess we need to make sure and see exactly what we got going on with the other guys there. But that's fine. So that's 140,000. That should still be enough for maybe one more here let's see who else is still closed liquor madness 9 is still closed now granted how many spots do I have in my warehouse here oops there we go so I could do 16 destinations uh we can we can pull off liquor madness 9 Oh crap, I forgot. All right, let's let's go back to the map here. We got to make sure we get the right places. We still got places to make layouts for, unfortunately. So let's find the next It's a D2. How about this? Look your minus 5. What are you? C2. Okay, perfect. There we go. Now, let's get this done. There we are. Perfect. Excellent. Confirm. Yep. Okay. Now that we have that, we can just move on forward. So I'll see you once all those are blueprinted, etc. All right, so we have those two M Liquor Madnesses and one more Liquor Madness to actually get situated here. So, Liquor Madness 5. There we are. And then we also opened up, what was that? 
M Liquor Madness 2 and M Liquor Madness 4. All right, so we have all three with the proper logistics. Let's make sure that we actually are getting enough here. Let's review our stuff here. Let's let's add another thousand. Oops, not that way. Just make sure we're covering all the bases here. Okay, let's order that up. Should be good to go. I guess we'll find out here in just a second when I push the day forward slightly. Did it not do an order? That is highly confusing. Didn't do an order. That's not good. Okay. Well, okay. Everything is squared away now. I just need to get more employees in. So I know we need. I'm thinking. Let's see. Let's look at our M liquors here before I do anything. Just to make sure I'm getting this correct. Okay. I think the same thing goes for Liquor Madness 5. Yep. Same thing. Okay. So I just need to do the same thing across the board for every single location, which should be pretty easy. So let's get these people hired in. So. Two, three, four, five, six. We know we need six total full time cleaners. Same with customer service. And then the same thing on part timers. Pretty, pretty straightforward. This is what I really love about these locations. It's not like the hairdressers and whatnot, or you know, even electronic stores and security guards. It's just straightforward and easy, to be honest. Which is, I guess, kind of made this a little bit easier overall too when you think about it, because I don't have to worry about so many different variables in each location. I have a lot of goods, I guess, but it's not too bad. All right, let's assign the uniform here. Very straightforward, easy. Okay. So. I think it should fall the same way, yep, okay. Perfect, so these guys will be at Liquor Madness 5. These fine folks will be at M Liquor Madness 2. And then lastly, Catherine, Julie, Mark, Sharla, Lucille, and Thomas will be at M Liquor Madness 5. That was the one, right? Yes. There we go. Okay. You were supposed to be M Liquor Madness 4. There we go. Okay. And as usual, this is very easy to set up. So I'm going to get all these people situated and we'll get these places opened as well see you in a sec all right folks so we are at the end of getting these ones set up just gotta get these last two and turn that on there and we should be good to go oh gotta go through these actually so let me get these done here real quick Perfect. All right. That's all set and good. So we are currently sitting in Murray Hill right now, and I'm surprised that these prices have dipped so low, but I think we're going to be okay. 
just need to be mindful of our pricing, I guess, moving forward, especially now that the rivals are starting to attack us. Let's wake up at 841 and see. Are they going to say anything here? It doesn't look like it. And just one more time to take a look. We are now at 1.2 million sales sitting at number five. I fully expect us to go over Margaret here very shortly, especially with these businesses being open. So let's, let's do this together here. Let's do one foul swoop. Let's see what happens. I have a good feeling. Oh, I got some messages from some people. Are they going to be angry with me? Oh. Okay, peaceful work environments. That's okay. Oh, we are so close. Look at that difference. It's only 48,000. <laughs> you can see the growth between Margaret versus me. Liz versus me, Terry versus me. I mean, it's. Ooh, Ingrid, Ingrid, what's going on here? What's going on? Okay. Oh, come on, Ingrid. Come on. Thank you. Let's get rid of all of you. Temporary close this place. Yep, that's nice. Goodbye. All right, so we have a new location here. Now, this is Dad's Liquor Store. You are a A175 square meter. So we'll just keep this close for now until we figure that place out. But you know what? I think this is actually a pretty decent place to stop. But I kind of. There's maybe one more thing I want to do here is Jensen Capital open. They're open at 10. Let's first let's get our, our money put away here. So we don't have too much money. Let's invest. Let's do. Let's see if we get hit with uh, negative interest here. All right, we're going to do one. Oh. Oh, yeah. You probably feel really clever opening your little business based on demands, right? You think I don't have the capital to flood the market with the products you sell? You should keep an eye on demand, my liebling, because you might not even be able to see it when I'm done with you. <laughs> All right. All right, Ingrid, what do you got going on now? She opened four new businesses in the garment district, dropping the demand. So you opened. Okay. Oh, crap. Let's go back to Ingrid here. Okay, so you opened more liquor stores. Okay. That is a okay with me. Let's get rid of all of these people. All right. We won't have enough money, unfortunately, now to make a purchase, but let's make sure our HR person here is full up. There we go. So it looks like we need to get some more HR managers. All right. We're going to do one more day here. Just right back at 11 a.m. We'll see if her effect is profound on us here. Which it didn't look like it was. Oh, 
Oh, okay. Yeah, it made a slight impact on us, but we're still in the top five. So let me know what you guys think. Reaching top five when I did. Were you surprised? Were you not surprised? I'm surprised. Personally speaking, I honestly did not think it would happen, but it did. So I'm pretty excited. I'm thinking next goal. We need to breach number one. How much time I want you guys to determine. Now, obviously, don't make it ridiculous. Be like, oh, get it in 20 days. I guess. Don't do that. <laughs> I'll probably make a poll, to be honest. But let's shoot for that number one spot. Just as a reminder, number one, he is at 3.6 million. Huang Guo. I'm at 1.3. So he's essentially, you know, double plus then. Like 500,000 or something like that. Or more than double, excuse me. Anyway. Anyway. We could reach that. I'm sure we can. It's just a matter of how much time we need to reach that. This is kind of crazy. Six businesses of 1.4 million. Damn, Liz. Okay. Jeez. What is this place? Thirty-two million. Oh, okay. Dang, Liz is bumping. But yeah, let me know what you guys think on how much time I should get for that. I'm thinking another hundred days is probably sufficient. Maybe even eighty. I don't know absolutely for sure, but I have a strong feeling at least another hundred days would probably get me there. Well, yeah, once again, guys, I thank you very much for watching. I truly appreciate it. The support has been amazing. We've reached over 600 subs. I think last I checked, we we're at something like 300 and, or sorry, 300. We we're something like 634. Yeah, 634 right now. Really great support, guys. I Again, I really, really appreciate it. If you have not done so yet and you like the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And of course, if you have not subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that button below and subscribe. I obviously will appreciate that as well. And until next time, bye-bye.